With child sexual abuse, we see boundary violations and red flag behavior much more often than we see direct sexual contact. So first we must notice the unsafe behaviors of people who offend, and we have to trust our feeling that something doesn't seem right. I think some of the behaviors that fell into the gray area or the risky um, behaviors um, were, were things like, you know, he, would, he was really touchy-feely. He would always put his arm around me if I was sitting next to him or put his arm behind me or something like that. Um, I remember one time my, my grandfather was in town and, and he told me, um, he said, you know, I was really upset. And I said, why? He said, because you ran and sat with Mr. Bob instead of me and he put your ar his arm around you and I just thought it was weird. Through the grooming process, you're facing escalating abuse, escalating violence, and it's, it's, you know, being alternated with rewards. Your uncle comes over, you sit on, you know, he asks you to sit on his lap, you sit on his lap, he gives you love, and that feels really good, and, and then the next day he comes over, you sit on his lap, he gives you love, and that feels really good, but then he puts his hand on your leg, right? And then you go out for ice cream. The parent should know that they are being groomed. Are they spending time with me so they can spend time with my child? The individual who calls up for the date, takes you on on a date and says, the next date, let's take your little baby, let's take little Johnny or little Mary to the zoo, right? So they start using that parent to get to the child. 